Hello, in this video we're looking at interface navigation in the Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin, and some things you can do just to kind of speed the process up. So first thing is uh, while you're playing, for the first playthrough only, you can pretty much press optimize. Uh, in this case, I'm pressing the guide button or the, whatever the select button is on your interface. And it says equip the highest level and the answer is yes. Um, and then if you really want to, you can kind of go through and just see, is there a piece of gear that has a job affinity that's the same level? Uh, if, if you want to go that extra step, but for the most part, equipping the highest level gear will get you through the first playthrough. You do not have to have the job affinities for the first playthrough. They do help, but you don't have to have them. Uh, second is your items. Uh, let's say you just want to clear out your items so you can start the next mission. Uh, if you're at the world map, or even if you're during a mission and you're using a save point, you could go to items, press square or uh, X on the Xbox, uh, go down to send all equipment to storage, and notice how it says 309 out of 600. I send that all, and now I have room to breathe again. Uh, where did that equipment go? Well, I can still equip that at the battle settings as long as I'm at the world map or the save. So uh, all of those pieces of gear where it says 309 out of 5600, I can still take advantage of that entire storehouse if I want to. And if you do not have plans to play past the credits or into the DLC, that'll cover you. Uh, optimize and send the storehouse. You'll spend less than 20 minutes uh, across the entire game and that'll cover you um, even faster once you kind of know when and what you're doing. Uh, three, if you are planning to go past the credits, uh, the smithy, you have the dismantle to get resources, which is just a whole separate topic all, all in itself. Uh, but let's say that you're looking through this. Uh, you can deal with your gear in a few different ways, but uh, just sort of the heads up, you do not have to press triangle or the Y button on each one. You could uh, hold it down and just hold the down arrow, uh, or sorry, the uh, D-pad down, and then once you go and try to dismantle, it'll try to dismantle the ones you don't have equipped, and it'll also try to keep a copy of one of each weapon type. Uh, so th this might be of benefit. I wanted to throw it out there because I have seen people uh, meticulously go and highlight one at a time, and that takes a long time. Uh, another thing you could do is if you know you're just going to destroy everything, press square or the X button, go to select all, and then go for the destruction. Uh, if you want to do just by a certain level, uh, R3 lets you sort, and you can sort by equipment level. You can press your D-pad left or right to jump a page at a time, and let's say I want to get six and down, I can hold the triangle and manually do it that way. I could do it that way. Uh, the other thing that I could try to do, let's say I just want to uh, disassemble by rarity. First playthrough, this doesn't really make much of a difference, but let's say I wanted to anyway. I can press square or the X button, go to filter, and decide that I want one, and th one to three stars to show up, and I want to select all of them. I press square or X again, select all, and I go down to confirm and I can decide to equip, uh, destroy everything that I'm not equipped with. And then now I have some resources. Uh, heads up on the first playthrough, you cannot dismantle the stranger gear or the sailor stuff. Uh, but if you're into aesthetics or glamour or costumes, uh, you want to lock those in because they are a pain in the butt to find again if you dismantle them later. Uh, so just, just kind of the heads up there. Uh, another thing while we're on the disassembly screen is the anima shards from accessories. You can get those quickly by disassembling accessories you're not going to use. Uh, so I'd say the ones you probably want to keep are the main stats, strength, intellect, spirit, stamina, agility. And then the other ones, they can go. Um, <laughs> as cruel as that might sound, 
they can go away. And notice that I'm going to get five anima shards on the right side for doing this. So that's good. Uh, and now I am trying to think if I actually covered job tree in this video. I'm going to assume I haven't. And if I did, I will just edit it out of existence. So uh, job trees. I can go to job trees and I see here that uh, I have at the bottom right, it says job points five. And if I want to unlock, say this node down at the bottom, total job points needed 11 uh, on the right hand side in the center it says 11. so i could spend anima shards to get there and it says job points obtainable and i only need six more job points in order to to oops i'm sorry to to get that but marksman let's say it's a job that you actually play I cannot recommend using anima shards on jobs that you enjoy playing because you're going to level up organically versus a job that you don't like. Like, oh, say I don't like casting, but I eventually want Dark Knight, so I want Black Mage. Um, or say I want something like Paladin someday. I don't want to deal with Mage or White Mage. And so that might be where we spend our anima shards to, to just accelerate through those jobs uh, and let's say oh now I have access to white mage and then oh, that's a lot of menus uh, <laughs> so uh, now in order to unlock paladin I need to uh, unlock where it says jobs required to unlock that's a white mage symbol and a knight symbol so just kind of the heads up, if you're ever trying to unlock a job and you don't see it, it's because you might need to use, uh, unlock two or more unlock nodes from different jobs. Um, in the case of Knight, that's Sword Fighter and Swordsman. So just kind of the heads up there. And then also, let's say you're on your job trees and you're like, where is that node to actually spend Anima Shards on? Uh, just a heads up, see at the top center there where there's a, a a diamond shape that's orange? That's what you haven't spent a job point or a master point in, which is a different video altogether. Um, so if you're looking for all of your jobs, that's when you have to press R2 or right trigger, um, and then you get to see all of your jobs instead of just the ones that you haven't spent a point in. And I've seen uh, folks just kind of get lost here for like uh, up to 30 minutes so far um, trying to look for their all section, and they're just trying to see what the other things were. So uh, that's, that's another thing. And then, um, oh, <laughs> sorry, most important thing, the passives and combo ability effects do not transfer. They're only while you're on that job. So if you see on the right side where it says ability type, job action, I'm sorry, also job action. Ability type, job action, ability type, passive, and ability type uh, is a combo ability effect, that does not transfer at all. Um, where a combo and a command, they do transfer. Uh, so you can use those on other jobs. So if there's a job that you don't like playing or you've already gotten all the core things you want out of it, you don't have to get it to 30. There is no benefit to getting a job to 30 if you don't like playing it and you don't enjoy it. Um, because the job that you will get to 30 are going to be the ones that you do play and uh, you'll get the achievement for getting a job to 30. And... Um, just for the unlocked, you don't have to max out all the jobs in, uh, for, for any achievements. Or, um, n again, none of the passives uh, transfer over. Uh, let's see. And then uh, one other thing that, that, that has come up a lot that a lot of folks may not know is you can have two of the same job. So right now I have Marksman and Pilgrim. But I could have Marksman and Marksman. And so uh, based on the other video that I'll be posting or might, might have posted already is uh, separate break gauges and you still get to use the job that you love. Now, heads up here is um, your jobs also give you some passive stats 
that are, we'll call it off the books. So for example, marksman and marksman, I'm not getting any extra stats. But if I like put up, say, mage, I should be seeing an intellect increase. So let's say right now on marksman number one, I have 20 intellect. I'm going to switch marksman for the second job over to mage. And now on marksman number one, I have an extra six intellect. Uh, similarly, there's just all these little hidden stats that um, are not immediately apparent. But they're there. So even if you don't plan on using your second job, if it has stats that boost your first job, that's also still worth it. Um, and then uh, I guess while we're on this screen, and I realize this video is going longer than anyone would actually want to watch this for. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Uh, we have when you're leveling, you level based on your job affinities that you have. So your main job, your active job, is going to get more experience, plus the job affinities. And then your second job is still going to get experience. Um, so that, that is one possible reason to sift through the gear. Except I just say optimize and go. Like, you're, you're going to level. Now, if you really do want to level a job and you don't want to play it, um, try putting it on your second job slot. Uh, th that's assuming that you're not changing jobs regularly. Otherwise, you might just use anima shards from accessories and from missions that you cleared and just dump it in order to dump it, uh, in order to level up those other jobs that you don't like playing as much. Um, and, but I do want to reiterate, you do not have to level up a job that you don't enjoy playing the 30 and, and you do not have to, uh, um, and you can use the anima shards to accelerate the jobs that you don't like as much and get your unlocks so that you can get out of that job sooner. I, I also cannot recommend ever replaying a mission during the first playthrough because you will just organically level up stuff as you go through as long as you're not running by enemies and uh, you, you do not have to replay a mission for gear and you don't have to re replay a mission for leveling up. But if you want to replay a mission just to feel like, hey, I want to try out a different combination, a different job, maybe I want to practice some speed running stuff, um, you know, that, that by all means do that. Uh, but in terms of the game play flow, uh, it was not designed to ever replay a mission during the first playthrough. Um, and it was also not designed that you would ever have to grind at any point during the first playthrough. Uh, so just kind of the heads up there. Also, while we're at it, the smithy. Um, I cannot recommend using upgrade equipment level, even though it does exist. Uh, but let's say that you really, really, really like some weapon that has a combo ability that you love. Uh, you could try to upgrade it if you want to just like keep that ability around. But the game was not designed with upgrade equipment level in mind for the first playthrough. And the game was also not designed that you would ever need to use the smithy during the first playthrough. But if you ever do, uh, keep an eye out for the main stats like stamina, strength, uh, intellect, spirit. Uh, agility. Those are the big ones that will make the biggest difference in your playthrough. Uh, and, and, and we'll say only if you get stuck. Um, I digress. I, I hope that all helps. Um, I, I should mention that uh, you, you might also see like, oh, hey, story, action, hard, story, casual. Uh, like, what, what difficulty should I play? Or, I don't want to get penalized for gear. Don't worry about that. That's, that's, that's not an issue anymore. There, there's just, I don't know why it still says that. Uh, but that's not an issue anymore uh, after, like, June 2022. I'm sorry, July 2022. So, whatever difficulty you want to play as, uh, feel free. Go forward. Try to enjoy, explore, and all this other fun stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully you, you've stuck around to see all this crap, <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll see, uh, until next time.